reporting. And I'll check in with meteorologist Sarah Gannon for a look at our weather. And Sarah, we kind of have the opposite problem here. We are really dry with relatively no rain in our area. Yeah, things have been pretty dry. And uh, as these storm, both these storms start to approach inland, we're going to be seeing them kind of pushing that heat and that humidity of our direction. So today was already a hot one. We saw those highs topping off mainly into the upper 80s, some lower 90s. Rochester just one degree shy of hitting that 90 degree mark. Overall, things are pretty hot and sticky out there today. And that will continue as we head into most of this week. Right now, things are pretty quiet out there. So we take a live look from our Goldman Group camera in downtown Rochester, looking towards the Plummer Building. Winds are pretty light out there this evening. Temperatures still on the stickier side warmer side there. We're seeing those temps mainly into about the mid 70s to so 75 right now in Rochester, 73 in Austin, 75 in Mason City and Albert Lee, Rushford at 76, Winona at 73. So things are pretty quiet out there, very dry, but still very sticky. Those dew points mainly into the upper 60s, low 70s here this evening. And uh, as we continue into the next several days, we are going to be seeing the chance for plenty of dry conditions. Uh, but for Monday, we're looking to see sunshine throughout the day. The evening time could bring a few storms to the area. Some of those we will have to watch closely. They could become strong to severe. So again, make sure to stay very weather aware for tomorrow. But throughout this week, we're looking at mainly dry conditions outside of Monday evening, but also looking at some very hot, humid conditions to kind of stick with us here throughout the next several days. And another plus that we're going to be seeing is the potential for some uh, haze in the sky uh, throughout the area over your Monday, your Tuesday and into your Wednesday. And that's due to the wildfires that are out west. So as we check in with our satellite and radar, things are quiet here at home. Seeing some cloud cover and storm activity off towards the Minnesota North Dakota border. Otherwise, that's going to stay out of our area here at home. We're going to stay dry and quiet throughout this evening. In terms of temperatures and how things are going to look over the next couple of days, timing this out with future casts, things are staying dry and quiet for tonight. We will stay on the mild side, looking at mainly clear skies. Temperatures looking to stick mainly into about the mid 60s at best. Heading into tomorrow, we'll look to see plenty of sunshine uh, throughout your Sunday or excuse me, throughout your Monday. And then as we head into uh, Monday evening, then we're going to see the chance for some showers and thunderstorms to develop and kind of pull through the area. This is when we're going to have to watch out for some of the storms to become strong to severe. And as we look into Tuesday, then looking at more sunshine, more heat, more dry conditions. Looking to see those highs once again, topping into the upper 80s, maybe some areas taking a run towards the lower 90s. So with those storm, that storm chance for your Monday evening, we do have the potential for some severe weather in the area. Main risk looking to be some large hail, uh, some damaging winds, but uh, those look to be the main threats. We cannot rule out the chance though of an isolated tornado. So make sure to stay very sky aware and weather aware for tomorrow and have multiple ways to receive alerts. And one of the things that I mentioned we're going to be seeing here over the next couple of days is some hazy sky conditions. And that's all because of the wildfires that are out west. So as we continue here into the next couple of days, we will see that potential for uh, some of that smoke to make its way into the in, into the upper Midwest, kind of giving us uh, that hazy look in the sky. So something we're going to be dealing with in addition to the heat and the humidity. For tonight, though, temperatures will be mainly into the mid 60s with mostly clear sky, so definitely a mild one, more of a night to kind of turn the AC back on. But otherwise, for tomorrow, looking at more sunshine, some haze, some humidity, temperatures taking a run into the upper 80s and some low 90s are possible in a few spots as well. Overall, as we check in with our seven day forecast, things looking to stay uh, mainly dry throughout the week. Another isolated chance for some storms possible Wednesday into th excuse me, Thursday into Friday. Otherwise, we're going to stay pretty hot here for the first part of our work week. But by the weekend, relief from that heat enters back into the area. So that's some good news for folks maybe not loving uh, the summertime heat. Yeah, so definitely sounds like we have to blast the AC for the next few days. Yes, I'd recommend that. All right. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> next at nine, an Iowa boy is getting creative.